Ross TV. What's up, y'all? This your boy J Ross hanging out with Miguel Monet. We at Timon Music Studio hanging out with my boy Alfonso Her. He the uh, chief cook and bottle watcher, CEO and founder. He producing a new track for, and I got to throw a shout out to my boy Crucial, y'all right here to my left. That's a, Crucial, my dude, y'all. Y'all, I gotta get y'all to meet Crucial one of these days. Right now, we focusing on the beautiful tones of Miss Monet L, y'all. As you can hear in the background, she's singing to one of her tracks called Free. Now, Monet, now, what gave you the impetus to start singing, and then when did you realize that you could sing? Oh, wow. Um, that question goes back a long time ago. Uh, my mother is a great gospel singer in the church, and she didn't allow her children not to be involved in music. So yeah. um, the choir needed some voices, so they pulled the youngsters, and I was one of them, and I started singing from there, age yeah. five. But what, when did you know? You know, we use at home singing in the mirror one day, and you say, "Man, that sounds pretty good." Actually, when I knew that I had a voice to minister to people, to help uplift spirits, is when um, there was a young guy that was playing with a gun in middle school, Dang. and he shot himself in the head playing with the gun, and we ended up having to do a tribute. A young lady and I both were. Uh, brought in to do a duet, His Eyes on a Sparrow. That's back when um, Sister Act was very popular and big. She didn't show up. So I was put on front street and I had to sing a solo and it went off so well. I knew at that moment, let's do this. Let's entertain. Let's let's encourage people with your voice. Yeah, hold on, give me one second, mother. You killer that song. Thank you. Look, hey, y'all listen to this for one second. Man, I feel like going skating, boy. She is killing that track, dude. <laughs> hey, but now, now, now you got, uh, you got, how do a, uh, a singer such as yourself go about finding uh, a producer? Like you got Fonzito. How did you catch me? You know, when y'all were White Castle lot, uh, you know. Uh, no, actually, right pace, right time, knowing the right people. Um, he is best friends with my friend, William Hinton, who um, you may or may not have Oh, met. I know Big Willie. Okay. Well, Skinny Willie. <laughs> Well, um, one day I told him I needed somebody to record with because I had to do a venture in Atlantic City, New Jersey, um, and I needed some music to take with me. And he introduced me to Al, and when we got in the studio, the chemistry was perfect, so we went from there. Yeah, so now, uh, like, growing up, you singing, you said talking about your parents, were they really supportive? Or, you know, going to church the way you did, they didn't allow you to sing at church? Well, my mom, because she does have such a big voice, I call her Baby Mahalia Jackson, is mm. what I call her. Um, she's been approached by several different producers and people in the industry and have had very bad turnouts with them. So she was leery of me getting into the music scene and who I would meet. So when people would come and ask her, could I do work, she was a little cautious, but she was still supportive. You know, she just wanted to make sure that we did everything with wisdom and we were with everything yeah. that we did. Now you got a new CD project project you're working on called Nothing Special. Now, is that like a uh, something inside of you or what made you name it that? Something wrong? <laughs> Something's wrong. Well, at the moment when that song, when I was inspired to write Nothing Special, um, that's the place that I was in. You know, um, we all go through moments in our lives where we feel like we're just nothing and we are nothing. But through God's grace, we are something. Through His mercy, we're something. And through through the Holy Spirit, you know, I was able to realize that even though I feel down and trodden, and even though life will tend to take the breath out of me, literally, um, I'm still something. Yeah. So even though the name of the song is nothing special, the whole circumference of the entire project, you'll understand that you are something through the love of Christ Jesus. Yeah. So is that what uh, helped you to fight your way through the fur? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So like explain to uh, people, you know, like especially like little girls and teenagers coming up that want to be singers. To, uh, face that fear when people tell you you're not good enough or you're looking at somebody who can out sing you so to speak you know but it's all subjective how did you get through that in your life i did a lot of self affirmation um when people would tell me negative things about the things that i wanted to do my ideas when they would talk down on them you know you have to talk yourself up you can't allow those people and their negativity because all all energy is absorbed so you have to watch the energy that you have around you so i try when i get somebody who's negative 
put them out of my life, yeah. regardless of who they are, if they're family, if they're friends, I don't care. If you don't have the ability to encourage me like I'm going to encourage you, then I'm going to excommunicate you out of my life. But at the same time, even when you don't seem like you have anybody, you can talk that truth into yourself. Yeah. You can give yourself the positivity that you need in order to make it because it gets hard. It does. But by being able to sing to myself, it may not be songs that I wrote, but since songs that are encouraging to me or stuff like Andy I read, some of them old Negro spiritual hymnals, I do all of that. So um, that's what helps me and I know that you know, if somebody practices that same remedy, it'll help them too. Yeah. Hey, uh, Zito and Cruz, you, oh, yeah. uh, Monet, you went metaphysical on us, y'all. Right. Right. <laughs> Super That's spiritual. Right. But hey, once again, y'all, we hanging out at Pymon Music Production Studios, Alfonso Heard in charge. And uh, Cruz, you one of the pianists and songwriters sitting to my left making me laugh. We down here with Monet L. And uh, Monet, so. Before we roll up out of here, uh, how you feel about your life now? How you how you feel about the direction that your project going? Well, right now I feel like everything is moving up, and just like I had the conversation with myself on the way over and with God, whatever you have, I trust you, and just give me the ability to utilize these moments and these opportunities for growth. All right, y'all. This your boy Jay Ross, hanging out with my girl Monet L, or I like to call her Motel. <laughs> hanging out at Team Home, Time Home, and we gonna get ready to roll. This is Jay Ross. We ten million strong, y'all. We gone. Peace.